Okay, we're back here with TV Survival, video 7, I believe. Be roughly right on Arrow, on my Arrow Making series. I have just cut a notch and still working on my knock here. I'm going to cut it just a little wider because that's not wide enough for my string. That would be wide enough for a Flemish string, but I'm using hay bale twine, so I've got to alter mine. These uh, multi-tools uh, with the saw, they're just a bomb. You take and put them in a vise, that's the way I like to do them if you can, because then it'll help you to hold it steady. And what you want to do, you want to go the full depth of that multi-tool saw. saw blade. I started it by using a hacksaw and going straight as I could, straight down. And now I'm working with uh, the multi-tool saw to widen it out just a little more for the knock. I might have to adjust my feathers a little so that cut them down. And I'll show you how to cut feathers here in just a minute. There you are, full depth of the blade. That'll make a good knock right there. Now I'm going to take my knife blade out and we're going to take it out of the vise. Now we need a board or any type of flat surface that we can cut on. And we're going to trim these feathers to where they fit better for the project at hand. I still have one, two, three, four that I've got to alter yet. Four areas that I didn't get done today, we'll do another day. I'm not going to sit here and do this all day. But here's what I'm going to do. I need this board. Um, well, I can get that wide enough. It'd be nice. I don't know how, if it'll come out for a two or four or not. I think it will. We can only go so far with this vise. It's probably a six inch vise, I guess. It should work for this two before. Yeah, just a little bit more. What we're going to do here, planning it. Well, let me turn that over because I want to have a place to cut. Now we're going to tighten that cup right there. Make like a table for this. And you've got to trim this feathers down. Because the problem is, this is a four fletching feather, but I need to have a little more room for my fingertips. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to come in here. We're going to trim it off right here, just like so. Take them off that way. It don't matter if there's a little tape on there yet. And then we're going to rotate it over this way. And I'm just going to trim it off right at an angle. Just like I did that. Flip it off there. See, now we got two pretty close things. Now we want these two about the same. So I'm going to come in here, somewhere about here, and cut down at an angle on this. On these. I didn't get cut deep enough. I guess not. Okay. This one has been cut almost. That's what we want. Now we want this one. But I'd like one to match in this ring. Okay. Now we're getting closer. What we got here, we got four fletchings. They're still not exactly alike. These two on this side are thinner, not as wide as on the other side. So what are we going to do about that? We're going to trim that up so that they'll be the same. But I don't want a difference. Too much difference. A little difference, not a big deal. But I want them to look pretty good. match each other. This will allow them to travel about the same. 
They don't have to be perfect, but just so that they look similar in uh, your cuttings. Like I'm doing here, I'm trimming this arrow here, this arrow fletching up. Now you got four fletchings that are, you got a room here to put your fingers right there, and you didn't have to take your fletchings off, I just trimmed them. Here's another way you can do it if you don't like it. Men will that in the way. We can come in here and we can just cut that right off. If I can get not one of the other areas over didn't need to. Right here. Let me put that on that side so it won't flop over there. What we're gonna do is cut these right off. Cut them right along there. That's gonna cut it off there. Cut them all off. Because we don't want them to be in the way we just trim it right around the whole blame thing. Now, take that and pull away. Pull them off. Just to get rid of some of that. Okay, we're not doing real good here. Gotta cut some more. I didn't get cut deep enough, I see. Chunk that right over there. What had happened here when I modified this one, the plastic tip that broke off that I had for it, I had one of these style here on there. Lost it when I shot it. More like this one here, if I can get it unstuck. I don't know why that's kind of stickier, but it is. But it's more like this knock. I had one of these on it, one of these type of knocks, as you can see. And it broke off. So I cut a knock in it. Now it'll work and I can still shoot this there. Only thing is, it's a little loose here where I've hit the tree and it I've got to trim this crud here up because it's not behaving right. But it's glued there, it ain't going nowhere. And it'll still kill game. That's the purpose, and you can kill anything you want with that right there. It's got fletching, it's got a knock, you got room to put your finger. Point of your mouth is still long enough. Still out there at your middle finger longer than what you got with the area hit on there. So that's a good area. Not bad. Okay. That one will work. Taller. I didn't say it was the best. It's taller. So look here. Here's some of that hate blue extra. So we're going to cut that off. So it'll That is gone. Make that a little smooth there and it won't hang nothing up when we shoot here. There we go. I'm not sure what was wrong with this one again. I straightened the head on it. That one's being up. This one's three quarters and it's long. That one there will flat kill anything it hits. I wouldn't want to get hit flat. That's a bad area. Even a thumper or a heart. Here we go. Now here's some new areas to, era of fletchings to cut. What I do, I come in here, I angle up, come around, come around. You see why that don't matter? Whether they're perfect or not, because I'm going to cut them off anyway. Well, shoot. Go down them. Got out of control there for a second. Come on, cut. You're usually razor shot. What we want is to notch that out. See that? Now that's going to be pretty, pretty nice. Now we're going to come right in here next to there. Close you can. You just kind of come up before you get the top. Angle it back down and come down. Come in and push hard and come down next to 